This is video number three of the course of conservation framing carried out by Rinaldi. The course is edited and presented by Mal Reynolds, who is a recognized authority in this field. The conservation mount comprises of two pieces of mount board. The window mount with the aperture cut from the middle and the undermount. Now it is essential that those boards are of the same quality and a minimum thickness of 1100 microns. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hinge them and it's always essential to hinge along the longest edge. So I place the actual boards together with a slight gap. I take a strip of linen and I moisten the linen, wet it and place the linen centrally down the gap, like so. And then with my artist bone, I burnish the linen, which makes the adhesive to stick better to the uh, board. I then take the point and run the point down the centre, like so, putting a little dimple in the actual linen itself, which makes it easy for the actual mount to open and close. And that is our basic conservation mount. What I am now going to do, I am going to show you how to fix the artwork in position. I'm going to do this by using a T-hinge. And a T-hinge makes use of two tabs tape. And the tape I am going to use is this tape by Linico, the Haiku hinging paper. The artwork should always be placed on the back or on the undermount of the mount package itself. Never on the window mount, always on the undermount. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put two tabs onto the rear of the artwork. I'm going to moisten round about five millimeters of the actual tab itself and then I'm going to place it in that position there. Take my bone and just gently burnish that. For the second tab again round about five millimeters at the bottom. I then take the tab and place it on the artwork in that position there. So those are my two tabs on the back or on the verso of the artwork. I then need to position the artwork in place in the mount. So I lift the window and place the artwork in the correct position, like so. I weight the artwork, I take my tape and I now cut two longer strips, that's one, that's two. I open the window mount, I wet the strips themselves, and then place the strips on top of the tabs, like so. You can see that I've left a small gap between the top of the artwork and the uh, bottom of the hinge. That is to take into account that if there is any expansion of the paper, then the paper will move and return to its original position without cockling. And that is our mount. You will find all the products for conservation framing in our website.